<clears throat> What's going on, people? Um, if you don't know my now, my name is Everything by John, because my name is John, actually, and I do everything. So I just want to hop into it real quick. Um, if you're not really into politics and things like that, um, you know, before I used to really say, hey, that's your thing, and everything like that. But I start to really realize, man, and uh, for a while now, but really, really emphasizing the fact that to, to people that that's not really into in politics and history as well. First of all, history lives. I want you to think about that. History lives. And intertwined with politics, history comes almost 90% of the time when it comes to rules and regulations in current day politics, and this will always happen. Um, I, I I'll probably get into that either either just a little bit emphasizing more on that either you know in this video maybe towards the end or another video. Um, but I want to talk about one of the uh, members of the Democrats, um, of the House or what have you. I, I specifically forgot, but her name is Lisa Haven. You might be familiar with her. Um, and she was actually speaking, she was speaking and others were uh, on the topic of reparations for African Americans, for blacks, right? And I literally heard, you know, it, <laughs> you know, sometimes we, you know, we, we, we see things happen on TV on the news and headlines and things like that, but I'm actually watching somebody say these words, right? Lisa Haven on the topic of reparations said, specifically, um, if blacks are given any type of payment for situations and treatment in this country uh, in the past, this, or, you know, basically summing up to reparations, this would cause a race war. She said, if black people get reparations, this will cause a race war. I really want you to think about that. Because like in my other videos, when I talk about politics and history and things like that, I could really talk for like hours, right? But I try to keep it really, really short. And I want you guys to comment, uh, you know, tell me, you know, uh, ascribe to me your feelings and thoughts. That's what I want, to, you know, you guys to do. And I don't want to make the video super long. I just want to bring a topic up, put my little bit of two cents on it, and let you guys just, you know, do whatever you do. You see what I'm saying? Because my channel... I talk about, you know, things I'm actually involved in. So I talk about real estate. I'm a, I'm a licensed real estate agent. I actually just finished my continuing education. That was a pain in the, in the, in the you know what? It took me like two days, you know. But anyway, I talk about real estate. I talk about investing, different forms of investments, liquid, non-liquid, et cetera. Uh, entrepreneurship, things like new businesses I'm trying to get into all the time. And my book that I'm working on, just different forms of entrepreneurship, things like that. But when I talk about politics and history, I try, I really tend to keep it really short. Because, you know, there's so many things that we go through as a people, for me and my specific community. But also, I don't want to be the type to, you know, just keep blabbering on. You know, I just really want to just keep it short. Because, you know, politics is something that can be swayed from left to right. And, you know, it's in its own world. It's in its own effect. But, like I said, Lisa Haven said this, right? And I'm saying to myself, quickly, all of these other groups that have been through opposition, um, hell, hell, you know, in this country, specifically America, they've either gotten reparations, which is payment for suffering, rules and regulations in their favor, laws set aside for them. Things like grants and different types of monies in different ways in terms of if they want to start a business, if they want to uh, uphold a certain type of 
uh, service or or, uh, or meetings and and um, rallies and things like that, they're given money. They're given some type of funding and financing in their community specifically. But you're telling me, as a white lady in this country, seeing or well, actually knowing what we've been through, that we do not deserve reparations because of the fact it would start that it would start a race war. This is this is the this is the world we live in. This is the the society we live in. And I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Just just understand me personally, I can go in all the way in. I'll just leave it at that. And I'll let you guys think about it. If you don't if you haven't already seen it, comment, like, share, subscribe my channel, whatever. Instagram, all the information is gonna be in the description. But topics like this, I just want you to listen to the title. Listen to just the just the just the beginning energy that I'm bringing into it into the conversation and take it from there. That's all. Like I said, I'm 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 trying really hard. I'm trying really hard not to go in. But do we really understand what we as African Americans have been through in this country? I, I, I'm just going to name a f just a few and then I'm out of here. Just a few things. Besides movies like the Amistad. Uh, screenplays and books such as Roots. Where you see the horrors. And just the, just, just the hellfire these, uh, these Europeans and whites have laid upon us. But do we, do we, or do you guys understand things like spirit cooking? Do you even know what that is? And you can look these things up. Do you understand spirit cooking? Do you know that little black babies were subjected to being fed? Being fed as food to crocodiles. Do, do we understand the type of devil <clears throat> worshipping an axe that was being done? And I'm not even talking about current day slavery um, mentalities put upon us in terms of uh, institutionalism, um, such as jail. Uh, imprisonment, um, little technicalities to put us, you know, take us from the street and put us into camps, you know, such as what I just said. I'm not talking about that's current day, and and that's a whole another video that can be 24 hours long. Like I said, please. Please try to just, you know. And it's almost like, is it my place to to talk about it and things like that? I mean, I want to, you know, speak my mind, but it's just so much. It's just so much. And, you know, that's why I try to keep it short. But like I said, like, share, subscribe, comment. Please let me know your thoughts and, and, and your criticisms, um, positive or negative. And I'll leave it at that.